the players at the club's stadium in Chapeco. We're joined now by Monica Villamizar. Monica, thank you for your time. Describe to our viewers the preparations that are currently taking place. Well, Peter, I don't know if you can see behind me, there's two giant emblems of the Chapecoense team, and they've put flowers all around. There's flowers really all around the football field. Uh, it's going to be a very moving ceremony, a religious ceremony uh, that the president of Brazil, Michel Temer, is going to attend, as well as the president of FIFA. And we understand uh, the coffins carrying the bodies of 51 of the victims of the tragic accident are going to be all placed here, slightly to my left, and they're going to have a religious service. Volunteers will call out the names of the victims and give family members white flowers and white balloons. And uh, all the fans are going to be coming here. This is a very small stadium uh, that only holds about 20,000 people, but 100,000 are expected to attend. So I think they're going to try to rotate people so that everybody can get a chance to say goodbye to their players that they're calling heroes here and warriors, uh, the, uh, real champions for people. We've heard that the aeroplane lacked sufficient fuel and that it had an electric problem. What can you tell us about that? Well, there's a, there's a huge controversy, and people are quite angry, to be honest, because it has surfaced on local media reports that the pilot of the plane was also co-owner of the airline, and that that airline had really, like, a track record of cutting corners, of not putting enough fuel, of trying to save money here and there. Uh, so apparently, the pilot did not call a mayday emergency, which is the protocol to really inform the traffic control to give you, uh, you know, to let you land from First. And he didn't do that. He said he was having an emergency. He needed priority, but he didn't call the Mayday uh, code because obviously airlines are fined once a pilot calls that. Uh, people are very outraged and they think if this is true, uh, of course, uh, you know, the airline could face even criminal charges. But of course, that's yet to be determined. That's the theory floating around. And of course, as you can imagine, it has relatives and families and friends here completely outraged. Monica Villamizar, thank you so much for that report.